all the people joining this presentation. It's a, it's a big, big pleasure to do this uh, CPT session with you. Um, for me, this is always a, a great um, possibility to, um, to give some latest updates from our side, uh, from the industry, and to share some learnings. Um, and as always, um, please feel free to uh, interrupt me or to ask questions straight away if there are any. Um, in order to start, I would like to share my presentation with you. And for that, I will share my screen as well. I would appreciate if somebody could shortly um, confirm to me that my presentation is visible and um, that everything is on, on track, just to be sure. And that my voice, uh, you can hear my voice. All is in order, Sebastian. We can see the screen and I can hear you clearly. Perfect. Um, so in this uh, CPD um, session, um, we actually decided to address a topic which uh, is a very important one from, from our side. Um, it's about Sophia Ceramic. It's about the material um, which we developed uh, about seven, eight years back but um, is still um, developed and further put um, to the next level. So Sophie Ceramic is um, a new material in ceramics uh, in which we are using to produce wash basins mainly and wash basins bowls. Um, this is quite exciting because let's say over the last hundred years, there were no really new materials in um, wash basin production used. So um, because of that, I would like to give you a little bit of background information and also technical details in order that you can uh, hopefully also learn and understand better what is so um, fascinating about this new material and what are the new possibilities. So to start with um, the um, to start with the topic, I would like to give you an overall idea what kind of materials we are using um, in sanitary ware production. So what is sanitary ware ceramics? Uh, sanitary cer uh, ceramics has a big advantage because it's 100% it's natural material. So you can say it's 100% uh, um, sustainable also because we take it from the nature. And the very positive thing is also that we don't have any lose of material during the production process. So it's a zero um, waste or a waste free production process, which again adds on the sustainability um, topic. Then um, further on, um, the process is a rather complex process because first of all, you cast the product, then you uh, get it dried, afterwards you glaze it and then you fire it. So ceramic is a living material. You cannot produce it like you produce plastic, which you um, produce in big machinery, which you can cut up to the up to a nanomillimeter detail. Um, you have to work with tolerances in ceramic and you have to balance um, the shrinkage, which comes up during this process. So in general, we um, differentiate between two materials. So one is vitreous china. And the other one is fine fire clay. Uh, vitreous china is the ceramic material which we are using for wash basins up to 80 centimeters, so smaller wash basins, and for toilets. Because the reason why vitreous china is used that um, this material is more dense and has less water absorption. And in a toilet or in a urinal, the water remains in the sea floor in order to close the drainage, in order that no smell comes up. And for that reason, the water absorption must be very, very minimal. The disadvantage of this material is that you have a shrinkage of about 12 to 13 percent. You can see it here. So during the production process, especially during firing, because you the raw material is a liquid liquor, you put them this raw material in a mold, you get the mold hardened, then you open it, and then you um, glaze it and fire it. And during firing, the um, size and the dimension is reducing by 12 to 13%. And if you think about, um, let's see if I have, this is a sun green, but if I have a 3D object like this and it shrinks from all three sides by 12, 13%, it's quite a lot. So a basin with a size of 
100 centimeter, to make it simple, you will need to produce 110 centimeter. So this is the big difficulty in ceramic production, and because of that, a lot of craftsmanship and experience is needed. The second um, ceramic material we are using is fine fire clay. You can see here that the shrinkage is less. So with this material, it is easier to produce large scale and long products because you have less shrinkage, which you have to manage. And the new, the very new material is called Sapphire Ceramic, um, which is a mix of the traditional ceramics mixed with the corundum from the sapphire. I will talk about this more in detail. But you see here we have a similar um, attributes of incense of shrinkage. And what is also interesting, it's the strongest material of all. So because of that, we can produce shapes which have been not achieved uh, until this moment. What is also important in um, this production process is the glazing. Um, sanitary ware um, is glazed. Um, so this glazing is sprayed onto the finished product and um, then fired on 1,250 degrees. This is a 22-hour process, so nearly a full-day process. And um, the importance of the glaze is quite, is quite high because it seals and hardens the surface. And uh, this uh, gives also the product this shiny uh, look. Meanwhile, we can even make matte glazing. This is also possible in, follow, in, in order to follow the trends. But um, the effect is the same. So it prevents bacteria to stick on the, on the surface because the surface is then no longer rough and it's sealed. And on top of this, it will prevent that any water or humidity is coming into the body. And then this can lead to the fact, so if the glazing is not done properly, that the inner body would explode and you will see small cracks over time on the surface. So the glazing um, gives also fully resistance to any aberration, uh, to any chemicals, especially important um, for women who are um, using the bathroom when they are preparing themselves for work or going out. Men, some men maybe need this as well, but mainly women these days. Uh, and it's also resistance against um, different temperature and uh, sunlight. So this is a very, a very important fact um, of the glazing. Uh, Laufen is a Swiss company uh, with the head, headquarter in Switzerland and production sites only in Europe. So you can see we have a number of production sites in Europe in order to cater all the needs. And we are producing in these production sites all three types of sanitary bags. So vitreous china, fine fire clay and sophia ceramic. Um, our expertise in producing uh, sanitary ware goes actually very, very long back. So the company was founded 130 years ago. We have this year our 130 years um, anniversary. And the sanitary ware production goes nearly 100 years back. So you see um, here even some older pieces. The, the Nautilus toilet, for example, is a, is a landmark piece in Czech Republic, which was produced even before the founding of our company in the factory in Czech Republic. So the factory itself is even older than the company. So you can see here, it's a very rich history. Uh, but not only this, Laufen is constantly trying to, let's say, shape the borders or move the borders in this industry. So uh, for this reason, we developed the wall on toilets in the 60s, or we developed the high pressure casting methods which is a, a method with that you can uh, halfway automatize uh, the production of ceramic product and you can work much, much more efficiently. Then also um, in our history, we always had um, the tradition and also the ambition to work with famous designers all over the world. Our first collaboration was with the car design and Porsche design. And then in 2013, Let's say that the, one of our latest development was the special material, Sophia Ceramic. So why we were aiming to find a new material um, called Sophia Ceramic and what are the advantages? 
So if we look on consumer goods, so if we look, for example, on televisions, or if we look on mobile phones, you see over the last year a very clear trend into minimalism and slimness. So from the phones is the most obvious, you know, this old Nokia to the iPhones or in the televisions as well. And our designer always challenged us, especially the designers which didn't came from, let's say, from, from a traditional sanitary or bathroom designer. Let's say designers which either came from architecture or from fashion. And they challenged us again and again and asked us why, why guys, you cannot produce sanitary wear which is slimmer, which has very thin rims and very slim edges. And um, the reason is a simple one, because the current material was not allowing us to do so. So based on that, then our engineers and uh, the people in the developing department, they spend a lot of efforts. Actually, they, they developed more than five years on this material to develop Sophia Ceramic. Um, what is Sophia Ceramic? So Sophia Ceramic is actually having the same attributes as the normal ceramic, which you know, since uh, 50s, 60s of years. But with Sophia Ceramic products, you can do products, as you can see here, which are extremely, extremely slim on the wall. So three to five millimeter slim walls, and the radius, the radius here on the top, is only one millimeter radius. So it's extremely, um, it's extremely sharp also, but in a way, that it would not, let's say, cause any damage or would not cut yourself. But with this new material, um, you can now do a lot of different shapes. You have a totally new world of design opportunity. Um, and how this was created? So actually it was, corundum was taken from the sapphire and mixed with the traditional cer uh, ceramic material in order to cr create the new material, sapphire ceramic. If you look into the details, it's a little bit more complicated, but in fact, it's really an ingredient from the corundum, which is taken and increased in the material mix. And this leads to the fact that you have a material which has the same um, touch and feel, but has some special attributes, which I will show you now in this video. Um, one moment, I need to shortly share my screen, including sound. I will do this again, that you hear also the sound of the movie. So include computer sound. Here we go again. And I hope that you can hear the movie now as well, or otherwise just watch and, and, and see.
Yes. So in this movie, you have seen some uh, testing done with the material, and I want to talk now about the details of what has been tested there, because this is quite important to understand what the material is about. So the first test was done about the edge impact resistance, so the chipping. So this means, um, you have seen it also in the movie, that they were using this steel ball here, and then by increasing height, they were dropping the ball on the product. So here with nanometers, um, you are checking how much energy, how much height you need in order to create any damage on the product. And here you can see in, in, in comparison, Sophia Keramic and Vitrus China have actually the this, this same um, resistance against impact and against damages uh, through impacts or chipping. Um, so you have exactly the same measurements and the same attributes. Also, if we look here in more details, so you see here on the very right side, this is the values of Saphir ceramic. This is of other Laufen uh, products, so made in vitreous china and fine fire clay. And here you see competitor products, um, which we tested as well. So the bright blue part, so this line, um, this uh, is showing you the force, what you need in order to create the damage. So you can see here that First of all, Laufen has a very, very high resistance against any damage, also compared to competitors. And it's about the same with Vitrous China and Safisera. On top of that, if we now put in this graph also the edge radius, so this means the smaller the edge, um, the more reasonable it is that it will crack or that there will be an impact. So you see what this, and this is very surprising because normally the smaller the edge, so this means the lower this, um, this value is, the lower also the resistance against impact. But in Sephir ceramic, we see an opposite effect. So this thing increases and this goes down. So here we see also that this is really a, a superior material, and this is the only material where you can receive um, um, get such a result. Then the second thing which was checked was the load capacity. So this means how much kilogram you can put on top of a wash basin here, you have seen this in the movie, until it breaks down. So the European norm is requiring 150 kilograms, which is let's say two people or one super heavy uh, person. But um, we are overachieving here by uh, 600 kilograms. So the basin will not break down before if it's properly fixed and the wall is stable. So we are fulfilling um, with Saphir Ceramic this requirement. Then what really makes a difference is the bending strength. The bending strength was tested, you saw it in the movie, with this um, tool. So you increase here the um, pressure or the power on this um, material sample until it breaks, huh? like here. And then you measure how much force you have needed in order to create a breakage at the material. And here you can see that Sophia Ceramic is um, truly um, breaking the mold and um, achieving the best results. So um, all the other materials uh, are far away, are less, uh, are breaking with much less force, so 40 or 60 MPa. And because of this, because the bending strength is, let's say, like double of the normal uh, sanitary wear, here you can also find again the comparisons of field ceramic versus our fine fire clay and competitive products. Uh, because of that, we can use only one wall instead of two walls, like here. Huh? So Sophia Ceramic, because the bending strength is um, double that strong than with normal ceramic or with fine fine clay, we can work with one very, very slim wall. So, and now some people might be say, okay, but what is with the quality of the material? So what is with decolorization? What is with the purity of the, of the ingredients of this? 
And um, here, if we if you compare this, you can see here also in a sapphire ceramic, you find very little iron oxide and titanium oxide. You see here, because iron oxide and titanium oxide are causing the colorization over time, and you need to cover it with clays. So the higher these values are, the more clays you need to put in order that there is no colorization over the years. So also here you see that the sapphire ceramic is having the biggest re resistance against colorization and also the advantage that we have to spray on it only a very thin, uh, thin glazing. And in order to that, we can also keep this wall and the radius on top very, very slim and very, very thin. So here you can see, I mean, this is the nicest example how the difference um, is there and how it is used. And this gives to designers a much, much broader field of how they can design the product and can give to the clients a much, much more attractive product. Further on, um, it's also an environment-friendly product, a, sustain a more sustainable product, because we need less material to produce. <laughs> Uh, also, other things like um, uh, the weight is lower, so it means you have lower transport costs and so on. So, another advantage is also that you have more space inside. So you see here the outside, from the outside to the inside wall, you lose around one or two centimeters, and here you lose more or less nothing. And this means you can even construct a 60 centimeter base and actually not on 60 centimeter you can construct it on on 56 and this is also what we have been doing because the inside bowl the dimension will remain so we have brought this material to the market some few years ago and since then we are trying to push the boundaries so we are not just trying to make very simple products we are really trying to make inspirational aspirational products which are unique. So you can see here, for example, this wall hung wash basins, basin from Eno, which comes at one piece. So here you have no gaps, you have no joints. This is really one casted um, piece of product and is even a piece of art, people say, in production because it's really difficult to produce. Uh, also, floor standing wash basins in a very elegant way, they can meanwhile do in Sophia ceramic and also large scale wash base. So 160, 150, 120, and um, they are able to produce in this way. Further on, um, we are not uh, just produce, uh, we also have wash basin bowls with overflows in our assortment. So like here, and this is quite important because when we started with Sophia Ceramic, it was quite difficult to integrate also the overflow because you have a very slim wall. So meanwhile, we find solutions for that. So we are, we would build the back wall in the point of the overflow a little bit thicker and then around this slimmer, but do it in a way that it's not visible. Like you can see it in the example here on the right side. And this has the advantage that in many commercial and hotels and uh, also high rise buildings, you need solutions with an overflow because of insurance reasons. And we can also offer this kind of solution with our Sophia Keramic um, product. Then a further advantage is our products are always fully glazed. So this means we are glazing our products also here inside the overflow, or if you look at toilets under the rim, if you have a rim toilet, if it's a rimless toilet, anyhow, it is uh, glazed. And also in the CIFO area. So everywhere where water can come in touch with the product, we have 100% glazing. And this is quite important. And you will not find this in cheap low-end products uh, because this is an additional step in production and will add on to the cost. But this is an important, very important part of the long durability of our products because in this way we are ensuring that no water and humidity is going into the core body of the product. And then you see these small cracks after a certain time on the surface. You don't see it in the beginning, but um, in an invisible way, then the glazing would break up uh, because the inner body expands. And, um, and uh, if the pressure gets too high, logically the glazing will break. And then you have a very, very small crack. And then by cleaning, you will fill up the crack with dirt and it will turn visible. 
So, and the other thing is, um, this area, like here in the CIFA or in the waste outlet or in the overflow, are not accessible for cleaning. So, bacteria, like here in the middle, or dirt can will stick there very easily if you have a rough surface and a not glazed surface. Um, for that reason, we are glazing everything and we are making sure that you really get a hygiene and long-lasting product. A further advantage is that we mean well, you see it here, we have more than, uh, this is even an old figure, we have more than 80 or 85 products made of Sophia ceramics, so including even accessories or chairs, uh, toilet paper holder, and a huge amount of bowls, wash basin, and so on. So you can select nearly everybody, uh, every product from us also in Sophia ceramic. And this truly makes uh, this material extremely important. Another advantage is you can apply on Sophia ceramic also, this is optional, this does not come automatically, but on optional base, Laufen Clean Coat. So what is Laufen Clean Coat? Laufen Clean Coat is actually a technology which is also used in cars, like uh, what we found out that Ferrari is using, um, the same, uh, let's say, finishing. They call it a low cure clear coat system here, or also expensive wash producers. So how does this work? I mean, the idea is clear. You want to create a, uh, a surface which is more clean and more straight, which gives no bacteria any reason to stick there, and which let the water flow down more easily, like you know it from treated glass in the shower. So how does this, this go? Here, if we zoom in, so you see here, this is four nanomillimeters. This is 4,000 nanomillimeters. So you zoom in quite a lot. But if you zoom on the surface, you see this is the ceramic product without any glazing on top. So if you now glaze the product, you will still have a little bit of wavy surface and the up and down on the surface. But it, this, is, this is invisible for the eyes. And if you do now, if you apply a lauf and clean coat, which is actually like a second glazing, you have, yeah, you see my line is not so perfect, but you have then a super straight. I cannot draw it, but you have a super straight um, layer, top layer, which gives no, uh, no, let's say, area for bacteria to stick, to hold, or to stay there. So, so you see, um, here the surface is about three times that smooth as a standard glazed surface. Um, bacteria cannot get attached there, it's very robust, and so on and so on. And um, it has also this hydrophobic, uh, uh, hydrophilic um, uh, thing, which means the water then runs out, uh, runs over more smoothly. Now I would like to uh, present you uh, what kind of products, and I would like to give you a little bit more ambiences of products which we can produce in Sephira ceramic, that you get an idea um, what we are capable of doing, and maybe what kind of products you can also include in one of your upcoming projects. So for example, um, we have new classic series designed by Marcel Wanders, which is a very, very nice series, is, uh, is an incredible, let's say, vision what they have. So they wanted to mix the traditional classic style with the new modern style and use Sophia Ceramic as technology in order to join these two worlds. So you can see here, every basin has this curvy edge on the outside, even the mirror. And this curvy edge also in the toilet, this gives this, uh, let's say, um, old fashioned look kind of. Here you can see it very nicely. And we are copying this in the furniture. And um, in this way, you have a very traditional approach, but with this also very straight and minimalistic um, design, you match actually also the needs of today. Further on, you have fantastic accessories like um, a brush holder or um, a mirror, which is also made of Safi ceramic and is indirectly illuminated by an LED light system. Also bathtubs, uh, freestanding bathtubs made 
of uh, marbon or solid surface, you can get in a very similar design as the toilet and the wash basin. Then another theory made of Sophie ceramic is Sonar by Patricia Ocaiola. She is maybe nowadays the most famous Spanish uh, speaking uh, female designer in the world. And she um, did very exciting wash basins. And the wash basins, they always have this cover here on the waste cover in order that you cannot see the waste directly. And what she said, the waste will get dirty. Or, or maybe it's not maintained properly and then it looks ugly. So she wanted to have this covered and she constructed all the wash basin in that way that you have this cover on top. And then inside here, you still have the normal functionality of a closing and opening waste, which you can connect with the post. Further on, she's applying, as you can see here down, uh, a texture on wash basin. So if you want to have a special surface, uh, you can have it in Sonar. You can see more impressions. Also here we are talking about the full set, including toilet, furniture, and all the goodies. Another set um, designed with Saphir ceramic technology is Val. And you see here, for example, in this bowl, that um, the designer was has integrated an area here, which he is calling the semi-wet area. So it's a part of the basin, which is not directly in the bowl. Um, so it's, but it's still in the basin. Uh, so you will not have oversplashing or, or, or water drops on your furniture. So the idea is to make, to put soaps here or to put toothbrush here and that you don't need to put it here because here you will always, let's say, you will you will then gradually step by step um, destroy your furniture because you always have the water drops and so on and so on. So the, the idea is that you can put whatever needed on the wash basin where you have this ceramic overflow. Um, here you can see more options and also here in this semi-wet area, you can see the same as we have done in Sonar. You can see here a texture on the surface. And Val is very interesting because you, um, Konstantin, um, uh, Konstantin Kritschic, he applied, let's say, he, he designed two types of wash basins. So one are these, which are very, very special and unique. And then he also has a series of wash basins under Val, which look rather, rather normal or which have a, a have a, um, a special approach to a normal wash basin, but by applying and using this slim rim on the Saphir ceramic wash basin, it gives really the touch and feel of a very upper class basin. Also, he developed extremely nice basins uh, for smaller bathrooms, where you can also have a luxury basin in your smaller bathroom. A very deep very small space, but very deep bowl, so to wash your hand, and you can extend it modular also with, and this is very nice, with a, um, a toilet paper. At the same time as well, we also launched Eno. Eno is also um, driven by the Sophia ceramic technology. You have seen this basin before. Um, and here are some other basins. So very nice product ideas for the guest bathroom, especially, or if you use it in combination with a plate or with a furniture, it's also really an eye-catching piece in a residential or in a hotel build. Then also in our assortment is Cartel by Laufen. Cartel by Laufen is designed by Roberto Palomba, is the collaboration between the accessory brand, Cartel, who is designing these mirrors, the shelves or the stool here, and Cartel is playing with colors. And it's very famous, for example, also for the ghost chair, I think you know um, this one for sure, or for the ghost lamp, is one of the biggest Italian accessory brands. And we are the only partner where they're collaborating with in the bathroom. So cartel pieces are made of polycarbonate, so it's not plastic, it's polycarbonate because it is a casted piece. So it's not 
glued together, it's casted in a mold and then produced. And this then the nice thing is um, you can give color, you can give freshness to the bathroom, like you can see here. Uh, and then you have very practical and very elegant and, and uh, squarish shapes like um, these wash basin selection. And here you can see we constructed the out at the outflow in a way that it's not directly visible, in a way that it's hidden. So it's a very nice way of handling um, the outflow of the wash basin, which often is for people a little bit a thing which looks strange or they do not appreciate. Cartel you can also get in different colors. So we have not only white, we have white matte, we have gray, we have black, um, and we have graphite. And especially we see a big trend in this matte color. So matte color is nowadays something which is super trendy. And with Cartel, we can fulfill this need. Step by step, we are also adding the colors in our other series. You can see some impressions. This is, for example, a gray basin. And for the freestanding basin, we are offering three special um, finishings, so three, uh, three special designs, which then are fired into the ceramic in order that they are very durable. Further on, we have living sapphire ceramic bowls. Living sapphire ceramic bowls are very practical bowls, like you can see here. You have a round bowl, you have a rectangular bowl, and you have a square bowl. Um, these bowls are very often used in projects, residential and so on. What is nice is that you can um, combine it with the Saphir ceramic waste cover. So you can have this as click clock or you can have this as connected to the, to the faucet. And um, this rounds up the, let's say, the image of a proper basin because it doesn't give a disruption in comparison if you would use here in the middle a chrome um, of uh, uh, a chrome um, outlet waste cup. Yes, so this is the this is the last slide of my presentation. Um, as you can see, I tried to give you some insights about um, Sophia ceramic, the special material which we developed, and uh, and we have we can say we have re revolutionized the market because afterwards many producers have all already um, copied it and tried to copy it some with uh, half success. But um, we have been able to use this time advantage to create really a full, full assortment of Sophia ceramic wash basins, which look very elegant and can be used um, for every need. And uh, thanks also for this comment. Um, this presentation inspired me for redo my bathroom. Yes, actually, this is the intention to give you a little bit of inspiration. Uh, you can also always follow our Instagram profile or follow our Facebook profile, um, Lauf and Bathrooms. I will also type our website here in the chat. So there you can find even more inspiration. And we have a long list of project references where you can get ideas for your upcoming projects and so on. Because what we see globally is that the bathroom gets more and more um, attention from not only the designers, also from the buyers. And this meanwhile, like a must have um, for, uh, for every high end and house. Sure. And if you want to achieve, um, let's say good sales prices. I will also share with you our social media profiles that you can follow them as well. Uh, if you are up to. So I would like to give also room for questions. If there are any, please feel free uh, to um, open the mic, open the camera if you want to um, ask questions and to answer. Thank you, Sebastian. It was a very inspiring uh, presentation. I'm sure there will be some questions. Yes, uh, Floris Lubbert. Yes, um, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, hi Sebastian, this is absolutely awesome. Tell me, is all this uh, sanitary wear, is it currently already available at all our Ethel tile shops in, in South Africa? Um, we have nearly everything available. We have a very large um, assortment of Sophia ceramic products. 
Uh, the only thing which is not yet available is the new classic series by Marcel Wonders because this is quite new. But mm -hmm. besides that, everything what I, what I was showing uh, from Cartel, Overval and Eno, uh, everything is available. So um, I was not down in South Africa, unfortunately, the last two years, but I have to visit soon. Uh, but <laughs> remembering the, the, the other visits, which I have done uh, several times, uh, normally twice per year, uh, they have a very nice presentation. You can really get um, inspired. And also important is to understand we have a quite large assortment and we are one of the biggest producers worldwide. So we can serve, let's say, all needs what you have from really high end uh, bathrooms also to more medium bathrooms. I mean, we don't do the entry level project, this is clear, but we can also um, serve you in projects which are more budget focused because we have different series and different design. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate. Perfect. Many thanks for the question. Uh, there was also a question now upcoming in the chat, which is very important and uh, which I maybe did a mistake, but it's because I should have included this in my presentation. Uh, yes, many, uh, let's say, aspirational studios are meanwhile working um, working uh, with BIM or 3D models. And I will shortly show you how you can access this uh, for our products, because all our products are available on BIM and are very easy accessible and can be easy implemented into your project. So if you go to our website, laufen.com, then you can go here on the right side, on the right top side on services, and then you scroll down and you see here BIM object. So if you click here on BIM object, you get to our BIM network. And here you can, uh, for example, let's say if we open this Rhino, um, you can find all our products on BIM. So you can download the BIM file, you can find all technical specifications, uh, the direct links and the classification also of the, pro uh, of the product. Um, this is just for you to understand how easy it is to access BIM. And for example, you can also search here for article codes from us and then you will find here, for example, this is one of our best selling toilets. You can find these kind of products very, very easily. You can also look them up in 3D. And um, this is a little bit slow now because I'm showing the screen now, but here. And then, yeah, it's not the most beautiful 3D renderings I have to say here, but here you can then easily implement it in your bathroom design um, if you want this. Yes. Um, for the for the CPT points, then you can contact Ital Tile. But if you are registered for the webinar, you will get the CPT points then automatically after seven days uh, via email. Sebastian, can I just quickly? Every time when we visit the factory with architects. One of the things that they find absolutely amazing is the difficulty to manufacture the tumtums. Uh, I think your second slide you had the Alessi tumtum, -tum, mm -hmm. and it's always interesting to explain that there's an inside mold and an outside mold, and the undercuts that you have and the different pieces that you have to demold to get to it, and how difficult it is to make this. Because I think uh, people don't realize how really difficult it is to make these big pieces because of the shrinkages in the material. Yeah, let me um shortly share i think you're speaking about this one is this correct yes that's correct because if you look at that from the back side you can see how many undercuts you have in the design of the mold so i can't remember how many pieces you have in that mold but i think it's six or eight pieces just to create the inside of the mold yeah so what is here I will come to that as well. But what is here also very interesting is you see here there are stamps. Here and here. Uh, we have these stamps on all our products. 
and it was not now part of this presentation, but it's important to know because we uh, are checking every product um, after the production process from a guy from the quality and sorting department. So every product is checked um, by one single person. So we don't do random check. We really check every product and every toilet is even air pressure tested. So you block all water connection points and then you put in air and if the air pressure is stable you know there is no leakage and in order to have 100 percent control the worker who is checking the products makes these stamps on the back side and then in case we have a claim we can trace back which worker or at least which shift have passed this product and we can ensure that this is not happening again that the faulty product was passed so and uh, you as an end user, it gives you the 100% confidence that the product was really checked by hand by an individual person. Then coming to your question, Marius, about the production. I mean, the difficulty of ceramic production is the following. Um, is this shrinkage. You have this 10 to 12% or in fine fire clay, 7% shrinkage. So if you are producing a basin, let's say, if you imagine this, this my to-do list here, <laughs> is um, is a basin, and this would be 100 centimeters. You need to produce it 110 or 107 in order that it then arrives at 100. And you produce it also a little bit curved. This is a little bit extreme here, but just to show, because otherwise it will not come out flat. And the problematic thing is, you see it here inside. You have hollow spaces, you have filled out spaces, especially if you then talk about a large wash basin like here, um, because you have this shrinkage from all the sides, so from here, from here, from here, and um, that you have straight surfaces because in some spaces you have support, other spaces are hollow, and then it shrinks, logically, it's very, it's very easy that it gets like this. And because of that, um, you will not find in the market uh, a lot of, large wash basins and you will not find large wash basin on a very cheap price level because not many producers can do this and uh, such freestanding wash basins like these tam tams they are even more difficult to make you find them meanwhile a lot in um, solid surface materials or, or or composite because it's easier to do you just fill up a mold with composite and then you open it finish uh, but with the glazing and with the casting is more difficult. So, for example, here you have then here an outside mold, you have two or three inside molds here, and I think in this piece the top part here is casted independently, and then later on is glued on top of the wash basin and then sealed with the glazing. So. It's instead of just doing one product, you actually produce four products and then join them together as one. Also in toilets, you, you produce certain toilets so that you make the mold for the down part and then the rim you, you, um, you glue on top. So, um, yeah, this is, this is a little bit, and this is where a lot of people get, um, let's say, a little bit misled if they have not visited a uh, production yet. And, Everybody is more than happy to let me know if uh, if he is in Europe or in Switzerland once, and uh, we are happy to give a factory tour to explain this more in detail because it's quite impressive how complex such a production process. Is. Yes, is there any additional question? Ah, uh, there was. Uh, no, about bidets, yes, we have bidets in all the ranges, but we have to say also that bidets are a little bit out of fashion. We see now more and more shower toilets are in fashion, but for sure it's then approaching a more higher clientele. But bidets is something where people do not really spend money on, and uh, especially because bathrooms are getting smaller, people normally just use toilets and then use the space uh, for other rooms, or they install larger showers or bathtubs. Yes, I'm just going through the chat. I don't see here any questions anymore. I think everything is answered from the chat. Uh, any open question um, from any of the people um, in the call? 
Otherwise, I think Marius or Johan, Nicole, I think we are okay. Or from you, any questions? All good for me, Sebastian. Thank you very much. I think it was very informative. Like I said, we appreciate your time and the presentation. And uh, thank you very much. Perfect. Many thanks for.